practicing on emergency. Eric told me that. But let's open this first. Okay. Eric hasn't arrived, I think. Today's gonna be pretty intensive. It's, uh, now it's 12. I fly until 3. I'll do pre flight first. And then fly again from 6 to 9, I guess. 9 p.m. Do the pre flight. Yeah, let's go. start the pre-flight checklist and then uh, after the pre-flight i'll make sure well including make sure on the fuel is there any enough fuel and then um i'm still waiting for the for eric so just gonna do pre-flight directly while waiting for him so yeah but inspection starts with first one is the cockpit I already checked on the cockpit, now the right wing. So flap hinges. Like all the hinges. Everything looks good. It's a bit low. Gaga already called for a reach, but it had an arrived, I guess. Fuel vent. Yeah, that is a fuel vent. There's nothing that's covering it. And then this one, the fuel straight. Just make sure everything looks good. There's no anything that, anything that blocks for the brakes to be applied right yeah everything looks good turn that is clear so let's open this We want to see it at 6 That is at 6, so that's good right. So the way to close it is here Now There's no crack or anything. And spinner, alternator belt. So for alternator belt, you want to put your hand inside and you feel like the alternator is like connected. Like or still tight inside. Nose gear and tire. We should move away this, don't forget. It's kind of stupid for you to fail on the check card. Because you haven't moved this. It's right here. Same as the previous one to open it. Trainer uh, needs to be checked here, but then let's check it when they already refuel. So air inlet, air inlet, good. And in here, everything is fine. Great. Fuel strainer, that one. Let's do 
through that after the refuel. Fuel vent is this one. There's no nothing that will lock it. Yep, it's more than more than fuel on the, not on the right way. Leading edge. Fuselage and empennage. So, for fuselage and empennage, it starts with antennas. For antennas, there's no, there's no object that locks it. And then stabilator and trim. So, stabilator and trim is this one. Rudder is this one, so for rudder, we don't really move it that significant. Just see for the hinges and there's nothing that blocks it. Because rudder is like, as you can see, the structure is connected to uh, everything else. It's kind of sensitive if you can move it. So let's just leave it there for rudder, but see if there's anything that blocks it or crack or something. But there's no such thing, so it's good. Okay. So, profile inspection done. And yeah, so let's just wait for the refuel and wait for Eric as well. Stay tuned. So, traffic pattern is a procedure or a method that pilots do to do takeoffs, departures, arrivals, and also landings. And the shape is kind of rectangular, um, consisted of different sections or different legs, like upwind, crosswind, downwind, base, and then final. And yeah, it's a fun subject or a fun topic to practice. There's this one fact about lendings for me is that lendings is the topic that I was struggling the most during my check rate preparation and also my pre-solo but anyway I keep on learning and I realize that it's actually very very fun once you get the feeling and the sensation and the aha moment you know I just finished today's flight and yeah so I flew for a total of 1.2 plus 2.4 3.6 hours today so that's good happy for myself okay okay let's time to rest and also um, do some practice test because my written is coming closer which is May 8 two days more today's May 6 all right yeah I guess that's pretty much it today. Let's see if we just call it a day for this vlog or I'll continue. Let's see. Thank you for accompanying me. Bye. So the one thing that I realized throughout my flight training journey this far is that whatever it is that you're struggling, just keep on learning. Do not overthink. Be patient one step at a time because great things takes time, right? So just believe in yourself and trust me, you're getting there. <laughs>